Hi Cancer, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for July 2018. This month I pulled the cards from the Tara Mucha Tarot deck and remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you you would need a private reading. This recording is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Ascendant, and Cancer Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And happy birthday, Cancer! I hope you have a very happy solar return. Now on to your July 2018 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have here in the reading today is the Eight of Swords, and this is being trapped in an emotional prison. It could be trapped in a situation that you can't see how to get out of, or trapped, um, feeling bound and trapped in some way. It's like, I feel like you need to receive guidance from your spirit guides, and I do feel that some of you are blocking receiving some of these messages uh, that are actually trying to come to you. And you're going through a period of time right now, or maybe in general this could be true for cancers, where you don't want to rely on anybody else, where you want to do everything yourself, you want to figure it out, you, want to, you don't want somebody else to bail you out, or you are trying to be the one to solve the problems and, and solve issues. You've had a lot of people interfering or blocking you and stopping you along the way. Uh, not, I don't mean right now, in, in your past. And it's like, not all at once. It's like you had somebody block you at this juncture, and then somebody was a stumbling block at that juncture, and then you came along further on down your path, and there was another person at that juncture. So for your life, you've ha always had someone or something that, was kind of blocking your path. And I feel like in some ways you've almost had too much interaction, too much interplay with other people, and you could use a break and some kind of quiet time and solitude to yourself a little bit. Um, maybe you've been having to deal with your relatives too much and they're getting on your nerves, or it's too many people at work, or it's both, and you've had friends or relatives or work people, and it's been too much, too much, and you need some time to, like, sort things out for yourself. And I do feel you, like, July feels to me like you're doing a lot of troubleshooting and problem solving, one thing after another. So anything that crops up, it's like, you're going to tackle this problem, then you're tackling that problem. Doesn't mean you can't tackle them. I'm not saying you aren't going to be able to do it. I feel like you are, but you may feel like July is a little challenging that you may have one thing after another show up. And I feel that you may feel like things need to be much simpler than what they are happening in July for you. Now you have the two of pentacles, which is having to make a decision or a choice between two things. Could be weighing your options. Um, you could be wishy-washy about your thinking about something. Emotions are tied up here. Some of you are having the question, do I stay or do I go? Well, where is that happening for you, Cancer? That could be at your job. That could be at a place where you're living. Or it could be in a love relationship. But you do seem to be weighing something. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I keep this job? Do I leave it? Do I stay in this relationship? Do I leave it? That kind of energy is swirling around you. You may be also trying to keep some things in the dark about this indecision. You may not want other people to know that at this time. You may not want to your spouse or a significant other or family members or bosses or co-workers to know that you're going through this weighing your options time about what you want to do. You may even be a little fed up with other people's attitudes, behaviors, and manipulation and control tactics. And if you're not feeling that way in July, maybe they were doing it in previous months leading up to July, and July is the month that you're starting to feel fed up and full of it, uh, tired of it, like you've had it. Uh, it. It could be July is the month where you're starting to say, yeah, what am I doing here? What, what, what's the decision I want to make about it? I do feel that you look at some people 
and multiple people in your life. I go back to the eight of what I said, one of the messages on eight of swords. Um, I do feel you feel there's been a lot of people that have caused you pain and heartache in your life. And this has led you to feel like you must tackle things and figure things out and solve things on your own. Because I feel you have found other people in your life to be unreliable or selfish and self-serving and you've had to put up with it. Uh, and for some reason, this leads you to this two of pentacles position. Some of you may meet somebody new and there could be sexual attraction. And, so, and you may even weigh your options about, uh-oh, what do I do about that? Especially if you're already with somebody else and you meet somebody else that you've got all this attraction to. So some of you, that could happen in July and August. Here you have the four of pentacles next, which is... The miser card, this is holding on protectively to your finances, holding on protectively to anything of value. It could even be holding on protectively to your emotions. This card can also mean financial success coming to you in the future. You, you're, I, I, I see you feeling like you have to retrain your mind. I also see you feeling like I have to get out of any situation that's not lucrative for me. So if you're renting a place and it's too expensive or you have a home and the bills are too high, you may feel like I got to get out of here. If you're in a job and it's dead end or you're not making enough money, you again, I go back, you may say this isn't lucrative enough for me. I have to get out of here. If you're in something that's not paying off for you, you may decide to alter it, change it, ditch it, whatever, because um, you are thinking about financial security and uh, financial payoffs of things. Like, what's the value here? Is the effort and what I'm putting into it worth the value of what I'm getting out of it? That kind of energy uh, swirls around this Four of Pentacles card. Yeah, because I see you also starting to feel like you want to invest your money or put your money into something that's going to pay off for you in the long run. It's, I get, I'm getting a weird energy about your finances. I feel like you do make a lot of effort to try to keep things on the status quo. But I get your finances look like a cart with a wobbly wheel where sometimes that wheel is tight and everything's rolling along and then it gets loose and then it gets wobbly. And then you tighten it again and it goes along and then it gets loose and then it gets wobbly. So your finances seem to be on an off and on wobbly cart. That's what I'm seeing. I do feel that some of you, cancers, will find that you will be at your financial pinnacle of success when you are in 2019 or something really great financially happens to you in 2019. Now here you have the uh, justice card and this could be dealing with um, Court documents, legal papers, lawyers, the court systems, judges, divorces, lawsuits, law settlements. And if it's not anything legal, it could be in a situation that was not fair or just or balanced. It will now become fair and just and balanced. I hear your priorities are getting straight. No excuses. You're telling yourself no excuses. I see you feeling self-assured and leading the charge. If someone asks you to step up to the plate and be an executor or a power of attorney or uh, take a higher up position or take a supervisory position where you're managing others, I see you taking it. In a, so that could be in a personal sense with the executorship or whatever, or lead something like a group, a club, an organization, be a president, a manager, or it could be in a work-related situation where somebody says, hey, cancer, we want to give you this position that's higher up, and you're going to manage and supervise others um, and take the lead or lead a certain department or group. And I see you taking it. I see you rising to the challenge and taking it. I also see you feeling very frustrated with people that are bugging you about every picky uni little detail. If you have somebody in your life that's doing that to you, a significant other, a boss, uh, family members in general, 
or whomever this is, I feel you're like, you know what, I'm, get, I'm getting, like, you're not going to want to get micromanaged in July by anyone. I don't care whether they're a love relation to you, family relation, or work. You're going to feel annoyed if you have people bugging you with trying to micromanage you or going over picky uni details to, about what you're doing. You may notice that you have an imbalance in your hormones in July. Maybe you're having an uh, imbalance with your thyroid. It could be a thyroid condition um, and your hormones for your thyroid are out, out of balance. You should get that tested if you feel drained um, or you are like falling asleep at the drop of a hat or just like it could have to do with menopause or something else, but some of you are having some thyroid issues kick up in July. Your last card here for July is the is the chariot, excuse me, the chariot. And this is being pulled in two different directions. You may be having to make a decision or a choice about two different things, which you also had here in the two of pentacles. Um, this could be change happening. It could also be travel. Some people say success with the chariot also. You know, you're wiser than you thought. And in July, your knowledge and experience is very ripe, like a nice ripe peach you want to pick off the tree. Your knowledge and experience uh, has actually come a long way. Some of you are going to receive news about a death in the family. It could be a distant relative or it could be somebody that you're connected to you feel like almost like they were family even if you weren't related to them by blood this is going to challenge you and it's going to challenge you to reassess a lot of things that are going on in your life now not all of you are going to hear of a death but some of you this comes up here so it doesn't apply to all of you I feel it's going to make you go back to your roots or something makes you go back to your roots. And if you were extremely spiritual in the past or religious, you may return to that. Uh, or you may go back to, like, you know, say your parents took you to church when you were a little kid or synagogue or wherever you went. And you stepped away from it as an adult. Some things that are happening to you now and other people around you in July may cause you to want to go back in time to your things that you did in your roots, your upbringing, what happened when you were growing up, and it may even cause you to want to go back to church, be more religious or spiritual. You know, I, I'm going to tell you something you may like or not like. I don't know how you're going to feel about it. But if you have any kind of account on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, it doesn't even have to be social media. It could just be people you know. Um, and you, they know something that's going on in your life that's been challenging for you. Don't be surprised if July doesn't bring in a lot of people giving you unsolicited advice. You may be finding it helpful and be glad to get it, or you may find it super annoying. So just know that in July, you may find a bunch of advice coming at you for something that you're dealing with and facing, which obviously is, being, is coming up in this two of pentacles card and with the chariot so just think on that so i hope this reading was of help to you and i hope it made sense i want to thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing and for google plusing i do truly appreciate that and please be sure to subscribe that way you'll get notified when i upload my videos here to youtube and if you're interested in getting the psychic crystal reading that I did for you for July 2018 cancer you can access this video for download and purchase by clicking on the link below in the description area called the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for July 2018 psychic crystal readings for download and purchase you can also access these videos by going to my website www 
theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu. It's a drop down menu. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's not anymore. It used to be a drop down menu. Now you just click on the videos tab and it'll be the first video series listed at the top of the page. You just look for your sign under the psychic crystal reading heading and click on that and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, the other link below is for my love readings for all each sign of the zodiac where I did audio love recordings using the John Holland psychic tarot for the heart oracle cards I pulled four cards for each sign of the zodiac and I recorded my voice only looking at the cards so when you purchase the videos you're going to see your four cards and hear my voice telling you what messages I got I've gotten a lot of compliments and uh, a lot of comments and people writing me telling me that they enjoyed those very much and were accurate so you might want to check them out and that link is also below this video in the show more section or you can get them on my website uh, on the videos page it's going to be one of the first few video series listed on the videos page you click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo so I wish you a joyous and jubilant July cancer and know that I wish you many blessings and peace <laughs>